somebody needs to make a stand that's as strong and as durable as this one, but has the portability of the other ones, that's in my mind what needs to go on. But Last night I had a gig on HMS Wellington, it's become a bit of an annual gig. Uh, HMS Wellington is an old Second World War battle cruiser which is um, moored on the River Thames near Temple Station. Uh, this is what we got up to on the gig. Downstairs. This gig again on the Thames in London, right in central London. There is the shard behind me. We've played two songs and I had to come out now to help Richard the drummer who was supposedly here, but I can't get a hold of him, so I don't know what's going on. Um, it's really, really choppy on the boat tonight. The tide is extremely high and um, I'm swaying from side to side and I've not touched a drop. <laughs> One of my bugbears, now really, I know the story, I ought to learn more standards. There are certain songs though, and especially when I'm playing with another person's band, and they're saying kind of, just bring the real book along, off we go. I need to take my iPad with me, with a few standards in, especially just, I've got to admit, I don't know, I can, I've got a lot of melodies up there, but I haven't got an awful lot of you know, sort of songs where I know all the changes. I know the changes to all the normal basic ones and kind of the, the bog standard ones, but sometimes if somebody calls, like for example, Like Sonny, uh, the tune by Coltrane, I can blag the melody, but trying to go, I'm gonna be, what are the changes there? I just prefer to have a real book in front of me, and sometimes it's just convenient. But the biggest problem with not very convenient is having to lug a music stand around. And these things are heavy. They're heavy duty, which is why I have them. They're very useful. I have two of them. I have one that lives in the studio for teaching in, and I've got one that lives in my car, because there have been so many times when I've got to a gig and I've forgotten a music stand. So I like to have two of them, and they're not too expensive these days, so I split them across. But now with an iPad, it's not really necessary to be carrying this great big lump of metal around with me. I don't mind taking the stand to a certain extent, but this thing is so bulky, and especially getting on the train, it was a real pain. So, whilst I was on the train yesterday heading into town, I went on Amazon and I got hold of this. Ah, my finger. I got hold of this Hercules tablet holder. So let's give it a very, very quick, but comprehensive review. won't fit over a normal music stand. Something tells me that's not the ideal kind of fixture for it, but it looks like it might hold it even within the case. Um, I'm not overly happy with it being the case, but it's certainly, let's have a look. So, positives about this stand. It feels pretty sturdy. It doesn't feel like my iPad Pro is going to... It's going to come out of there very easily, which is what I want to feel. Um, it's... Seems pretty robust at the back. There are two 
other extra settings that I could use. It does look like it is supposed to go on the back of a mic stand, which is slightly thinner than a music stand. Uh, for that's coming through here, there's a bit of a thread gap there. But it still feels, I mean, I'm holding it by that very tentatively, and it's still holding on quite well. Negatives, obviously, um, it isn't quite holding it incorrectly. This should be over here. That might be because of the case, but you saw me using the case. Sorry, you saw me putting it in without the case, and it's still struggling to go in. So that's disappointing, especially for something that was nearly £40. It's not that cheap, but it does look like it might fix the solution. I can't get the thing out of there now. Um, oh dear. It does look like it will solve the solution of having to carry a heavy... Where are we going there? Of having to carry a heavy music stand into London with me when I'm on the train with the saxophone. I've just got to take that big pole, which is still going to weigh something, but certainly without the big, huge piece of metal, which tends to annoy everybody else on the tube. Thank you very much for watching today. I hope this review proves useful to you. Tomorrow, I, or today, probably when you're watching this, I'm heading off to the Music Expo Conference at the Kensington Olympia. I think it's Kensington Olympia or Hammersmith. Um, I think nice. Uh, that used to be called Earl's Court. Maybe I'm in the wrong place. Anyway, I'll get on the train and figure out where I need to go. I will take you with me. We'll have a little look around, see who we can find, and see what's new there. Uh, and I will be back next week with some more reviews and some more coffee with Dan's coming up. Don't forget, if you don't already, please do hit that subscribe button. This is what I was up to in my last vlog when I actually had a bit of a longer beard. I got a new beard trimmer and kind of went a little bit short with it today. Don't worry, it'll grow back. Um, and this is what I was up to this time last year. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button and check out my Patreon page for more. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.